way back when we started, it was more of a male dominated uh, yes, industry. industry. Yeah. And that kind of caused a lot of that happening then. I don't know about now. Okay. And that was why female like us came up with the idea of becoming also a producer, producer directors, director and everything. And even taking over the industry. I'm right telling now. you. <laughs> and we have a lot of female producers now. We have a lot of female directors. We have a lot of female, you know, um, entertainers. I always tell the younger ones, like now when you come into the industry, you don't have to go that route with anyone. If anyone tries to, you know, ask you out before giving you a role or anything, you can walk away from it. My people, how in a day? Today, we go talk about one powerful story we involve popular Yoruba actress, Iyabo Ujo. This woman don't finally open up about what she go through after she experienced sexual assault. And now she take managed to overcome the trauma we follow her, you know? During one interview, what she do with her white comedian for her official YouTube channel, Iyabo talks, say, fear of judgment now waiting make her keep quiet for long. She no fit share our deal because she de fear waiting people go talk. As she de recall the incident, she talk say, When man first fully sleep with me, I no fit tell anybody because I de scared. I de deeply afraid of being judged and I no want make blood day my hands. At that time, I de feel so many emotions where I no fit explain. And I know even Sabi say plenty people don't go through similar wahala, you know? A brave revelation don't shine light on the stigma where the surround survivors of sexual assault and the emotional toll where you fit take on person. Yabo Ojo they use her story to inspire many people and they encourage conversations about healing and breaking the silence where they follow this crime matter. You shall be as it be for Nigeria, many people they hide their stories because them they fear within society go talk. But Yabo Ojo don't show say we need to talk about these things, maybe we fit support each other and heal together. A courage fit help as we don't pass through similar experience to find their voice and speak out. No be easy matter, but with people like Yabo sharing their stories, we fit they move closer to a world where go they more understanding and supportive. So my people, maybe they support Yabo Ujo and others, we don't face this kind of challenge. If you enjoy this kind of gist, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more updates and stories with the touch art. Make me no long talk I'm here in the video. It's just, I feel good when I help people. It's a beautiful feeling if you ask me. Yeah. It is. I have been in that girl's shoes before. So that made it more personal for me. Mm. You know, and even during our own time when I was being raped or abused, I really never told anyone about it. Because I felt like I was going to be judged for it. I felt like I didn't want any blood on my hands. I felt like... I felt so many things inside of me that I could not really explain at that time. And I didn't know other people were, had gone through that kind of experience. I thought it was just me and me alone. Yeah, I remember, then we had, I, remember, you know, I remember that uh, situation. I mean, uh, the one involving princesses, uh, yes. uh, little girl yes. and all that. Thinking back, how, how does it make you feel right now, knowing that you went through that experience? Right now, because I'm stronger, I'm more matured, I can handle the trauma, I can handle the thoughts of it. I just feel in every situation you find yourself, someone has even gone through worse than yours. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to learn from it and make sure no one around you goes through that. So for my daughter, I was, people see me and my daughter as friends, but trust me, when she was much younger, I was extremely overprotected. Mm -hmm. that she had to stand up to me one day and say mom i'm at the university now can't i just make my own decisions like come home on my own and like, no you can do that i'm sorry when you get 18 19 i'll let you be <laughs> but for now because she the, everywhere she went to there was someone who was always with her if i wasn't oh, there wow. there was someone there and it has to be a female and this has to do with the personal experience you had yes i didn't want her to go through that experience so i made sure that happened even when she was when she went to bangkok i made sure i had to go and see the officers the, the people in charge everything i was like look my daughter must not step out of this place no matter what without me getting a call hmm. even when they come to pick her they must get a call from only this number if this number goes missing, I would come myself to this school. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen you and your doctor before. Yeah. I mean, there was this time we were doing them a celebrity quickies, and we yeah. came to the house, and she was, she, she ran into us. I mean, yeah. she, was, she wasn't around when we came, but yeah. when she came back, yeah. I could, I could trace the bond. It was, it was more like you guys were, yeah. were friends, yes. and I liked that. Uh, energy Relation, and yeah. synergy put together and then she made a request that please one thing that she would want you to just get rid of <laughs> my black bonnet <laughs> <laughs> so that takes me to um 
industry controversies. Mm. Yes, I've been through all of that. It's, it wasn't easy for me to see myself going through that. So like, um, how were you able to navigate uh, and the challenges that comes with all of that? Uh, you, we learn every day, like I say. Every, every dragon that I have got, gotten, um, I learn from it. And when it happens, I just take my time to digest what exactly is going on, mm. right? And when I find out like, okay, I think this is the problem, then I know how to navigate. Mm. But I don't allow their insults get to me because they don't know me. That's I'm, true. I'm sorry when I'm social media and I see these things and I see them, I'm like, I don't know you. Now, when, you, when I don't know you, and you say things about me, it doesn't really get to me. It will get to me because I'm reading, I'm like, oh, but not like it gets to me to break me down. I had to take my time to learn all of that. Yes. It used to I think get it's... to me real bad that to the point you see Katago, they come off of my nose. <laughs> There's one recently I saw and I was just laughing. You know, like they were even insinuating that maybe I killed Mubad. Oh you my know? goodness. <laughs> oh you my know? goodness. And in my head, I'm like, okay. If I killed Mobad, I wasn't around when Mobad died anyway. I wasn't too close to Mobad. I didn't really know him that much. I met him because he went for One Africa. And um, for the few days we were together, you know, I didn't really know him that way, but I just knew that he was a cool boy, you know, had his own thing that he was going through and doing his music. But if I actually did kill him, then why was I fighting for him to be assumed? <laughs> when you look at the people talking, and you look within yourself and you search within them. They said, there was a time they said I was paid. There was a time they said I was trying to go for political, whatever. There's a time they said I was clutching. There's so many things that have been said about me, you know, drawing their own narratives. But when you look down and you check yourself and you be just like you said, mm -hmm. when you do these things, did I do this for this? Mm -hmm. If you had done it for that sole purpose, then it will get to you I because you're going to feel caught like, oh, they don't catch me. Mm -hmm. But if you know that the reason why you did this, was just to help seek justice, was just to, it was just doing your own thing, then it doesn't get to you. We've all been there. Yes. During the answers saga, we were all advocating for a common cause. And what was it? Just to call attention of government to mm. just see to the needs yeah. of the people. Now, unfortunately, something that happened and at the target, some people died. Mm. Did you know, people came at me saying that, you people knew, you got information that they were coming. Mm. So you people left innocent children there. And that will bring me to my next thing that I wanted to say <laughs> about that, is that social media is a platform where a lot of mental health people have access to show their, <laughs> their cocos. <laughs> Do you Trust me. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, Yoruba we call weary on social media. No, they're, you know, they're and there are different types of di different types of weary. You know, when we were growing up, we thought weary was when those ones on the streets, you know, naked, dirty, eating pieces and all those things. No, there are some weary Allah shop. And <laughs> I'm telling you, we're a pro max. Fifty percent of people on social media, one kolo menta. <laughs> Do you understand? So if you sit down and listen to these people and allow them get to you you said you will begin kolo trust, trust so me. it's better you just like when they are talking i just look at them and say, oh, just like this mobile i just said oh, this one has mental health maybe this one is suffering for bipolar okay this one is selling for schizophrenia this one is suffering for <laughs> <laughs> you gave them <laughs> I give... how did you did you use your stethoscope or what for using to check all of these out yeah by what they say i was like this one, this one has anger issues ah this one, ah, this one, does this one have boyfriend or husband? Ah, he really need this, something, something. This one is lacking something, something. <laughs> They're not touching away mm, over No, 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 no. <laughs> this one is suffering from depression. Ah, this one, that's... A... I'll give you another example. I woke up the other day and I said my name was on a list. Uh -uh. List of gays. Gays. Uh. List. Not just my name. My own baby brother, way my mama <laughs> got in name. So two, two family members, we made the list. Really? Gay. Now... Why is that painful and insulting for someone like me? Mm. Is that not too long, the same social media space, mm -hmm. they refused for me to do my show in the UK. Mm -hmm. It was trending everywhere. What was the reason? Mm -hmm. That AY was fighting against the gay community. Oh, wow. Oh, you bought people carry placard. Really? I didn't see that. Oh, I'll show you a video. 
they came to the venue saying that ay would not do his show and they were asking the uk government to ban ay from coming in uh -uh. then the same social media space you come again the wife left it because he took away women choose one now <laughs> can't you people just choose one one thing i've come to understand is that if you pay too much attention to yourself as a man mm. is a problem mm. so you want rock powder where you want make sure say you cream your body where well, another there must be something about you that is extraordinary that will mm. make you be the other gender but that aside this is about iyabo mm -hmm. ojo what are your thoughts on um, the current state of the film industry mm. and uh, regarding issues like uh, representation diversity and of course harassment you know way back when we started it was more of a male dominated uh, yes industry, industry. Yeah. And that kind of caused a lot of that happening then. I don't know about now. Okay. And that was why female like us came up with the idea of becoming also a Producers, producer, directors, director and everything. And even taking over the industry. I'm right telling now. you. <laughs> and we have a lot of female producers now. We have a lot of female directors. We have a lot of female, you know, um, entertainers. I always tell the younger ones, like now when you come into the industry, you don't have to go that route with anyone. If anyone tries to, you know, ask you out before giving you a role or anything, you can walk away from it and go to a female producer who can accommodate you. In our own time, it happened, but I was not, I won't say I was really harassed. I was just on toasting, you know, like, like you toast. they just asked me out. Maybe face. Yeah, but not like they harassed me that, oh, if you don't do them, let me see if I know. Let me go, okay, you understand? Amy God, bad bad. <laughs> I don't know. From somebody that started fighting for eh? both ourselves and everybody from China. Uh -huh.